It's Bonnie. Happy Thursday. I am back. I got another candle review for you this afternoon. I have been burning the Bath and Body Works Sour Melon Drop for summer. I didn't think I was going to like this one. Honestly, I was a little bit nervous because it's got um, the honeydew melon in it, but I like this one. Oh my gosh. This is a little bit of a surprise for me in a couple of ways. We'll talk about that, but it's funny. I went downstairs to see if I could find my crisp apple candle because I remember that one is standing out for some reason. Can't find it. I did, however, find my banana coconut cream pie. Banana cream pie, um, fall of 2018, I think. It's funny because I really thought, and I wanted to bring this up. I recently reviewed the chocolate banana mudslide. The verdict's still out on this one. I have burned it again. I really thought that the chocolate banana mudslide was going to be like banana cream pie with a little bit of that rum and then um, some chocolatey uh, elements to it. It wasn't. It was a little bit more rum, but I don't know. When I found my banana cream pie, I'm like, hmm, yeah. Wish it had a little more banana cream pie in it. So that was kind of interesting for me. But anyway... All of the candles so far that have this brush stroke on them, I am loving you guys so far. Every single one of them, I have absolutely loved. The chocolate chip cookie, um, the buttery popcorn, and now the sour melon drop. So this one looks so pretty outside. Oh my gosh, I took it outside. I actually did an Instagram story. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love these green brush strokes. I wish we had more of these. I am just loving the design on these. So when I saw this candle had honeydew melon, I went, uh-oh, uh-oh, <laughs> cucumber melon. You guys know how much I hate cucumber melon. So I didn't expect to like it. I smelled it cold and I was like, I don't know about this one because it's got a little bit of apple in it. It's got a little bit of watermelon. And then it's got the honeydew. And I'm like, mm -hmm, I don't know. I passed it around the house. Everybody loved it. Everyone in my house loves this one cold. I was not sold on it cold. Lit it up. I like it. I really do. I wasn't sure I was going to like it. You know what's interesting about it? So you get the honeydew melon, but you also get like this layered sour green apple note. And I love sour green apple, like Jolly Ranchers, um, gum, like any kind of sour apple like that is a huge hit for me. I like sour candy and I definitely pick up um, that sour apple note in this candle. And I think that really brings it together. Juicy candy watermelon, I think is probably like the third scent. So for me, the honeydew melon and the sour green apple are like equal. They're, they're kind of like just meshing together, making everything smell good. I love it. Then the juicy candied watermelon is like the base for me. And maybe that brings in like a little of the sweetness to balance out the sour apple. Um, but I'm not getting like, honeydew melon for me just smells gross on its own. I don't eat melon. I don't like melon. <laughs> I don't like cucumber melon. <laughs> Although I think it's the cucumber and the melon that I really dislike. But I'm not a huge like like honeydew melon girl at all. But whatever they did, however they balanced that sour green apple, I think it actually works. And in hindsight, I was kind of thinking about it. And I'm like, what if they took the melon out and they just had like a sour green apple? And that's why I wanted to find that crisp apple candle because there was a candle from Bath and Body Works. And I seem to remember um, that it was kind of like a sour apple and it just didn't work. It was like too gross. I don't know. It was too sour and um, I didn't like it at all. So I'm thinking Bath and Body Works actually did us a favor by putting the honeydew melon in because it just balanced everything out. It's a burst of fruit and it is strong, you guys. I swear. I don't know if I got a good batch of these or what, but every single one of these um, brushed um, pink candles. Gosh, I love the chocolate chip cookie one so much. Um, it's been a powerhouse for me. I love them all. The last one I need to review uh, is the berry fruit punch. I, I don't have a handle on this one yet. I'm not sure. I expected it to smell a little different, 
But then again, these cold have been a little, like, different from burning for me. So I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. But I think if you like... Um, sour green apple, I think if you like fruit, I think if you like any sort of um, summery, tart, sweet, fruity scent, I think you're going to love this one. The jar is beautiful, and it's a powerhouse of a scent. So, um, yeah, I'm on board with this one. I am loving this one, more so than I expected. So, um, good one for Bath & Body Works. I think it's a totally original scent. I am super happy with that. So, anyway... I've got one more video for you guys later. I'm going to be talking about the Golden Ocean Pearl. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.